Hey, and welcome to another episode of Back From The Future. Now, today, we're going to be reviewing this little baby that I picked up. Sorry, got the wrong way around. It's called the Freeloader Sixer. Freeloader because it's a battery bank that has solar panels on it. So, basically, it, you know, free electricity, supposedly. And uh, Sixer because it's a 6,000 milliamp hour. It comes with this lovely little rugged uh, rubber casing and on the back of it it has this little clip on it belt clip so you could put a belt clip or a strap uh, on it now the great thing about it is oh on the front it's got a micro USB port to charge and a regular USB our output here I'd imagine that would theoretically maybe be one and a half two amps I haven't measured it so I'm not sure now what the other cool thing I mean the great thing about this belt clip is that I can have a lead coming out uh, going into my phone I don't think I don't have a lead yet but but I could theoretically clamp it on to my belt and have the power lead stuck on my phone and as I'm going along, I can charge, use my phone and it can charge it. Uh, so that's a really good plus point on this. Other thing about the free loader is that I can take the rubber casing off. Right, and what's unique about this, oh, that's the other thing. This has a little clip on here. The metal clip's broken. I don't think it's very strong. But what this clip allows you to do, would have allowed you to do, is if you'd put the freeloader out in the sun to charge, you could put it at an angle so you can get it hitting you sunlight at, um, directly onto it. But that's broken, so I suppose you could use a rubber case, kind of. Now, the great thing about this is uh, if you've either you've got an iPhone or an Android, it caters for both because it comes with both connectors it comes with a lightning connector and it comes with a micro usb so my samsung galaxy i can plug it in and i would press the button and it will start charging it it will start charging my phone um, it gives a 1.1 1 .1 amp out of uh, the micro USB or the lightning and I you can charge both phone uh, both lightning and uh, Android phone at the same time obviously the current ish would then be halved so if I put that away so basically if we recap it's got micro USB output lightning output and a regular uh, USB power port on there now going back to the solar panel, not incredibly powerful at all. I think that if you wanted to charge this up fully via uh, sunlight, you'd need to leave it out in direct sun for maybe a week, week and a half. I, British, with British weather, British summertime, it's not that strong, to be honest. Maybe if you lived in the Sahara or somewhere near the equator or Arizona, somewhere where it's extremely hot and you get a lot of sunlight, this probably would charge a lot quicker. But the circumference, you know, it's, I say circumference, surface area isn't large enough to charge this thing properly. You can use an external char um, solar panel on this. And maybe in another video, I'll try, because I've got some solar panels somewhere, I'm going to try plugging them in and see if we can get this to charge quicker in sunlight. So that covers that. Um, is there anything else? No, I don't think it is. It's not. Uh, do you know what? It, it's handy because I don't have to carry a spare um, micro USB or lightning cable with it. That's why it's good um, to have. And like I said, 6,000 milliamp hours, you can't go wrong. Um, I've been using it myself. This is my personal one. Oh, the other thing that I use it with. Here we go. The other thing I use this baby with 
is with my cam caddy charger. So I'll take the micro USB output and do I have a battery here that I can use? Right, so I can plug it into this thing here, right? So give me a second. Right, so found this battery. So now I've got my uh, power bank, got my cam card charger, switch that on, flick the switch. So when I'm out on road, I can power almost any kind of uh, camera battery from the Cam Caddy 2 charger. The two of these combined, ep absolutely epic. Because, as I said, the leads come with this. It's like you're not hunting for a bloody lead every time you're trying to ch uh, charge either your phone or a camcorder battery when you're using the Cam Caddy 2. What can I say? Highly recommend it. It's, it's a little bit pricey, um, but... You know what, when you're on a film shoot and you need to charge um, a camera battery or something, this thing does come in handy. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this and I highly recommend this. Um, that's it for today's show. Um, hopefully I'll see you on another episode of Back From The Future. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you want and um, join me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And I'll see you in the future if there is one.